welcome back to Skincare with Ashley, where I help you perfect your skincare needs, every single one of you. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really appreciate it. If you're new to this channel, why not subscribe and join the skincare family so we can all geek out on skincare together. Today, I'm going to be doing a review of two Dove body scrubs. They are the same product, just in two different scents. They are slightly different as well when you look at the ingredients and just in the texture. So if you guys are wanting to know what I think of the products, then stick around. If at any point you do like the video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up because it will really help my channel out. But let's get straight into it. So there's the crushed macadamia and rice milk and there's the pomegranate seed and shea butter, which I've been using recently. Now... I have had these two products before in the past, a long time ago, but obviously then I didn't have this channel, so I wasn't really concentrating that much on the difference and stuff. But in terms of ingredients, they are very similar. In fact, the first eight ingredients are exactly the same. And the second ingredient is glycerin, which is humectant, so it's going to help draw moisture into your skin. Now, although they do say that they are scents, so it says the crushed macadamia and rice milk scent, and this one as well with its scent, these ingredients are actually present in the product. So, from the eighth ingredient, that's when they start changing up a little bit. So, this has got the macadamia in it, which is a emollient, it's going to help moisturise your skin. And it's also got the rice milk as well, which is going to condition your skin. And it's also a rich source of antioxidants. So absolutely great. And this one has got the pomegranate, which is soothing and a source of antioxidants. And it's got the shea butter as well, which is going to act as an emollient and also a rich source of antioxidants. So overall, they've both got some good ingredients. They've both got number of antioxidants in and in terms of formula they are actually pretty similar so let's look inside them i am going to put them on my skin so they are quite thick and creamy okay i'll use this hand to get the macadamia which i will put over here so as you can see it's quite a thick consistency and it's very creamy obviously when you're using it in the shower you'll have a little bit of wet skin so it will just you know go on a little bit thinner but it's very very nice I really like how it feels I'm just going to use the same hand to get the other one because they are very they are practically the same thing really in terms of consistency so as you can see, that's very thick and creamy as well. And they've got really little exfoliating particles, not too harsh, not seem too abrasive, but also not too mild either. They do say use three to four times a week. They have a nine month shelf life once the product is open and they do both contain fragrance. Now, in terms of the scent, I do think that the pink one, the pomegranate one, is a nicer scent. This one, I wasn't too impressed with, to be honest. I didn't really like the scent at first, but after using it for a while, it's kind of grown on me. And now, I do really like it. Both quite nice, quite sweet, nothing too overpowering. And when you rinse it off, the scent does disappear. So now let's just talk about which one I actually prefer because I said they've both got fantastic ingredients. They both feel very similar on the skin. But in terms of using them, I have noticed a little bit of a difference. Now, just to let you know, if I was to use them separately, I don't know if I'd really notice much of a difference. They make my skin really nice and soft, um, feel really hydrated so in terms of like just how they feel on my skin i do think they are very good and they are very very similar but i have been using them on different sides of my body and i have noticed a little bit of a difference so i actually think that the 
one with the rice milk is slightly more hydrating on the skin it leaves my skin a little bit more soft supple so in terms of which one do i prefer i do think i slightly prefer the macadamia and rice milk one but in terms of which one am i going to buy again to be honest i really like them a lot i think they do a very good job and you know for your body as well it's all right to go with something a little bit more harsh and these not that they're harsh but these feel like they do a fantastic job at actually exfoliating your skin but at the same time it doesn't overly strip your skin it doesn't leave your skin feeling dry and it's just a really good product really to be honest i especially love to use them on my legs because i do suffer with kp so if I was going to buy again, I'd really buy any of them. I definitely do recommend. They are very nice. Um, I have to just say, you may be a little bit bothered about this scent when you first have it. I don't know. I didn't like it. It grew on me. Now I love them both. But I was going to love them anyway. The scent wouldn't put me off anyway because it's still a really nice scent. It's just I prefer this one scent-wise. So that's basically everything I did want to say. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video once again. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Definitely recommend these products. If you guys want to see more content, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe, join the family. We'd all love to have you. Let's geek out together. And in the meantime, every single one of you, have a lovely day and keep looking after your skin.